Okay, so we're going to begin with a three step of breathing space and you'll probably notice I start a lot of my sessions with this because it's so important to, to check in in our day. How are we feeling? How's the body feeling? What's the quality of the mind? And so much of the time we're not really sure. So this is an invitation to just be present to whatever is here without judging ourselves harshly or judging our experience harshly. So inviting you to bring a dignified posture to the body. This invitation to be awake to our experience. And this three step breathing space, step one, is taking a moment to bring that curiosity, that friendly curiosity, to maybe exploring how is the body feeling in this moment? perhaps sleepy or quite awake. Maybe noticing some areas of holding or tightness. And some other areas of, of softening or allowing. The sensing into this, whatever is here, not judging it. And perhaps even asking yourself the question, how am I feeling in this moment? What's the emotional weather pattern? There may be a subtle sense of ease. How is it to notice this? Or there may be a subtle sense of unease. Yeah, and equally important to, to notice that also. We might be aware of, of contentment or agitation, relaxation or worry. So really important to acknowledge how we're feeling from moment to moment. And sometimes we're not sure and that's okay too. Perhaps just lightly acknowledging, oh, okay, this is the emotional weather pattern at this moment. And perhaps also just lightly noticing or becoming aware of the quality of your mind, <clears throat> the surface level of your mind. And the mind wanders, is it moving into planning or daydreaming, past, judging yourself for this experience? And again, it's not judging this, we're simply becoming aware, awake, noticing the quality of our mind, knowing that we are ever more than our thoughts and this opportunity to be able to observe the pattern, the quality of the mind in this moment. And step two, inviting you to bring your awareness to the sensations of breathing but knowing if this doesn't feel like a comfortable anchor for you, we can always stay present to the sounds, actually opening up to the present moment anchor of the sound. So always this choice, taking care of ourselves. We can choose to close the eyes or have the eyes open with a soft gaze. And beginning by sensing into your body breathing. Perhaps noticing as the breath enters your body, turns around and leaves the body again. And noticing the mind will wander and that's okay, it's what it does. It's not a problem. It's the noticing that your mind has wandered and the choosing to bring the attention back to this present moment, using the anchor of the breath or the sounds. This is what we're doing. 
noticing the mind wandering, letting go and beginning again. Sensing into the sensations of the body breathing. Perhaps noticing the breath of the nostrils, the chest, or the belly. You might even like to place your hands over the belly. Just feeling into that contact, touch, A gentle sensing into the belly rising on the in-breath and falling on the out-breath. And then step three, inviting you to widen your awareness to the whole of the body as you're sitting here. You might even feel the body breathing from the inside all the way out to the outside. Feeling the space that your body takes up. And as best you can, sensing into the contact of the feet on the floor. Sensing into the contact of what you're sitting on. Sensing into that connection of the floor, the chair below, the contact. As best you can, feeling into the space that your living, breathing body takes up. And knowing we always have this resource of the breath, the body, the sounds, these present moment anchors to return to during our day, during our week, whatever is happening in our external world or in our internal mind. So I'm inviting you to move into a longer practice. I'll just ring the bell as, as we continue with our practice of body, breath and sound. So once again, just inviting you to sense into your body in this moment. Choosing, as I mentioned, to close the eyes or, or maybe open them with a soft gaze. Really sensing into what feels right for you. Sometimes if we feel a little activation, it can be very helpful actually to open the eyes and, and focus on something or even look around the room. But for some of us, it might feel very comfortable to close the eyes and, and be present to that internal experience. So inviting you to sense into the space that your body takes up. Even sensing into the envelope of the body, the skin. Sensing into the contact of your feet on the floor, against the floor, maybe even wriggling those toes. It's noticing for most of us, we, we have our toes, not everybody, but perhaps even just giving them a little wriggle to feel into them. And maybe noticing how it is now after wriggling the toes and we're not wriggling them. Is there any sensation here? And sometimes we feel no sensation and that's fine. 
but we might notice a little subtle tingling or contact, heat, coolness. And seeing how it is to bring that quality of beginner's mind, noticing these toes maybe as if for the first time and sensing into that contact of the soles of the feet or the sides of the feet for cross-legged against the floor. Inviting you to expand your awareness up along the feet, the legs. Sensing into your, your sit bones, your seats. Noticing if that contact of what you're sitting on feels hard or soft. Supportive. Expanding the awareness to your legs and just moving up along the torso. Perhaps noticing that gentle movement as, as the torso, as the body here expands on the in-breath and, and returns on the out-breath. That very gentle and, and subtle movement of expanding and returning as we breathe in and breathe out. Moving your attention to the shoulders, arms and hands, the neck and head. So this widened awareness of the whole of your body as you sit here. And you may notice some areas of your body that feel very little or no sensation. Maybe bringing a sense of curiosity to this. And other parts of the body where you're noticing more sensation, maybe a little tightness or heaviness, lightness or softness. And always this choice to kind of move in and maybe sense into some of this sensation or, or this opportunity to widen out, staying present to the whole of the body, sensing into that contact of the feet on the floor, the body sitting in the chair, the hands sensing into the hands on the lap, held together or even over the belly. Sensing into your living, breathing body as you sit here. And again, this choice in our practice of staying with this widened awareness of the whole of the body or choosing to move in a little closer, exploring and sensing into the sensations of the body breathing. So this choice for some of us, we might like to stay with the widened awareness and for others, really sensing in closely to whatever sensations we're noticing of the breath. And just noticing as well, where is our attention in this moment? It's quite likely the mind has wandered many, many times and knowing this is completely normal. It's the noticing that the mind has wandered and the choosing to bring it back, the letting go, the beginning again. This is what we are practicing. It takes a lot of patience and commitment. We might even like to lightly Acknowledge the quality of the mind. It's kind of, oh yeah, the mind has wandered ah, in that planning mode again. Hmm, it's quite familiar. Or maybe in the memories or the daydreaming. Not judging ourselves harshly. We're actually aware or awake. So inviting you to bring your attention, as I said, to the body as a whole or sensing into the sensations you're noticing of the breath. Exploring where you're noticing this moment.
perhaps noticing the full inhalation followed by the exhalation. Not needing to breathe in any particular way, but simply noticing how the body is breathing. And exploring for you, where are you noticing the breath most? Is it at the nostrils? With that slightly cooler air coming in on the in-breath. And the slightly warmer air going out on the out-breath. Is there any awareness of the sensations here at the nostrils? Or for you, perhaps noticing the breath most at the lung area, the chest. Noticing as the lungs expand on the in-breath and return on the out-breath. Or perhaps for you, noticing the breath most at the belly as the abdomen wall expands on the in-breath and returns on the out-breath. And perhaps choosing to place the hands on the belly just to sense into that gentle rise on the in-breath and fall on the out-breath. Just bringing that beginner's mind, noticing the breath as if for the first time, sensing into the sensation. And seeing how it is to notice the mind wandering and gently bringing the attention back. Maybe noticing the quality of the mind and just lightly labeling, oh, okay, planning, daydreaming, judging this experience, judging myself in this experience, memory, problem solving. And then gently and firmly bringing the attention back, just letting go and beginning again coming back to wherever you're feeling the breath most. Or for you, it may be staying with the widened awareness of the body as a whole as your anchor. And inviting you now to bring your awareness to another present moment anchor if this feels okay for you, but it's all an invitation. Opening up to the sounds coming to the ears. Sensing into the sounds maybe in the body or around the body. The sounds in the room in the building, outside the building.
And again, the mind will wander. That's okay. It's the, it's the noticing the mind has wandered and the choosing to begin again. Opening up to the sounds coming to our ears with that non-judgmental awareness, that friendly attitude towards ourselves and our experience. And noticing if we move into labeling sounds, which is a pretty normal thing to do. Just seeing how it is to drop below the labels. Exploring the sound simply as sound. Noticing the pitch. The tone. The frequency. The quality of the sound. Listening to the sounds as if it is the first time you had the gift of hearing. Perhaps even noticing the space between the sounds, the silence. Noticing that the sounds are changing from moment to moment. Like our experience in life is changing from moment to moment. And allowing the sound of the bell to come to the ears and to the body as well as, as all of the other sounds present to you at the moment. And remembering the words of Pema Chodron, meditation practice isn't about trying to throw ourselves away and become something better. It's about befriending who we are already. The ground of practice is you or me or whatever we are right now, just as we are. 
That's what we come to know with tremendous interest and curiosity. So when you're ready then, gently widening the awareness, just taking your time to widen the awareness, opening the eyes if they were closed, just taking a moment to sense into your body and even just sensing into the room, the space you're in. So thank you all very much. I'm just unmuting people now. Thank you. So thanks so much for turning up, nourishing the body and